Good morning. So this is day one of my 21 day detox. And as you can see, I am um, downstairs in my home gym. I'm just coming off of being really, really sick last week. And I wanted to start getting my body moving. And I know it's one not good to kind of just sit idle. And I was super weak last week. So um, I did come down here and get a little workout in. So let's talk about this 21 day detox. This 21 day detox that I'll be doing. It's basically a raw food, det a raw food detox. I did it in uh, last September, 2022 for 14 days, but my trainer and I kind of remixed it, which was adding um, a protein shake, which wasn't necessarily all like plant-based raw food ingredients. So this time around, we are going to stick to a more raw food approach, being that um, I have seasonal allergies, which I've talked about on this channel before, which is really, really bad. And then also it's um, triggered asthma, which is now impacting me and my inflammation levels are extremely high and I wanna take control of my body. Um, one of my doctors recommended getting a, um, a shot monthly shot to help with the inflammation. Um, I'm already taking allergy shots and I wanted to feel like I had some type of control of my body and my health and not keep pumping things into my body that I really don't know what it is, what's the long-term effect. If there's a domino effect, which I start with this next shot and then eventually I'll need something else. So this is my approach to taking control of my body. So for 21 days, I am going to capture pieces of what I'm eating, how I'm feeling. Um, this is not necessarily about weight loss, but I did document um, my starting weight because I am still on a health journey. And with the holidays, traveling to Mexico, and then getting sick, um, I picked up some weight. So it's a perfect opportunity to hold me accountable. But this is really about me taking control of my life and really having a good look at what really, really affects my allergies, my you know immunity system, um, inflammation, all of those things. And I'm so excited to share these 21 days with you. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my first meal on the detox of the day. So I had my tea. Um, I drank my detox tea between 8 to 10 a.m. And this is a pair. I'm about to jump on a call. Excuse my nail. So this is a pear. This is a smoothie with spinach, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and a little bit of pineapple. And then this is a little drink that I make that my mom recommended about a year ago, especially when I'm not feeling well. And it is just water, um, oranges, lemons, turmeric, and ginger boiled. And I try to boil that every morning and or at night. And I will drink one cup in the morning and one cup in the evening. And this is where I am for my first meal of day one. Good morning. So this is day two of the detox and I am just about to start um, drinking my tea for the day. I'm a little behind. It is 9 a.m. and the tea is supposed to be, um, you drink between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. So I really got to get through it very quickly here. But um, how am I feeling? So yesterday I felt really, really sluggish and weak. I am coming off of being sick. Um, last week so I don't um, it's I don't I don't think it's anything related to the actual detox but this morning um, I decided to sleep in and get some additional rest and um, today I'm thinking about what I'm going to do for my meals and, and try to add a little bit more protein I did record my dinner last night and I captured my first meal of the day but um, this is day two. I've got both of my, my teas here to get through. Super excited, feeling good, still feeling on track. I will say I'm a little overwhelmed. You know, I cooked dinner last night, st still working. So I took my laptop downstairs, I cooked dinner. And one thing I really, really need to do, which I know I wasn't up to, 
this past Sunday is meal prep and I've started thinking about ideas for meals to get my calories in to also get enough protein in so this weekend is going to be a little bit busy because I am going to have to meal prep to be able to not have to cook every night or even for lunch go down and mix a smoothie maybe already bag my fruits up so I'll have that ready but it is day two so feeling good okay so I will record this quickly this is day three of the detox nothing changed since day one um i do feel like i can feel my body starting to to cleanse and, and get rid of some toxins but overall things have been great it's friday so going into the weekend and my goal is to actually make sure that i can um meal prep i talked about that like i really really need to meal prep on sunday so that i have a little bit more time back during the week next week and i can just run downstairs grab smoothie um, fruit lunch whatever even dinner so that is going to be my goal this weekend but overall it's going good as you can see i got a workout in modifying the workout just a little bit as i'm still recovering but i'm just ready to feel differently like i want to say get my body back but not feel like i am so untrusting of my body based on some of the health things that are going on so I'm just ready to see what this detox can do for me. So this is day three. Okay, so it is day four of the detox and I am about to make a smoothie. I got an apple, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, spring water, some spinach. And then I still had this from Whole Foods that I want to use, get rid of. So I'm gonna add that into my smoothie and um, this is gonna be lunch. All right, so it is the evening of day four and I recorded that I had a smoothie earlier. Well, I'm not in the mood to cook. So I'm going to, I ordered a salad from Salada's. Um, it's got avocados, red onions, chickpeas, cucumbers, apples, and quinoa. Um, I didn't order any dressing, so I'm going to make some, my own little salad dressing, just a mixture I'm gonna come up with. And then I knew that they were not gonna give me enough chickpeas, so I have the garbanzo beans that I've um, drained and, and washed off, and I'm gonna add them, and this is going to be my dinner for this evening. Thinking about, so I'm gonna take myself out for Valentine's Day, and I've been like trying to figure out where are some plant-based friendly restaurants where I don't have to worry about what they're cooking things in and kind of tweak the menu and I'm still trying to figure that out but I wanted just to show that like this is you know Salada's of course is a salad place and there's a lot of salad places but this is one thing that I did where I could actually order food you know order food in had it delivered because I didn't like cooking um or put anything together but like this is an option that I have. So throughout this journey, if I'm just in a rush or don't feel like it, I can go to Salada's and um, just have something that this is, you know, the so to raw detox for 21 days. The goal is to have at least 50% of your food um, raw. So this would definitely accomplish that if I'm ever on the in the rush. So let's try to make some salad dressing. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but let's give it a try. All right, so Amazon Prime has just delivered all of my groceries. As you can see, I have cabbage, some kale, lots of blueberries, raspberry, blackberries, lemon, oranges, quinoa, um, 
arugula, lots of spinach for smoothies and also for dinner. Um, got my belt, got my peppers. Did I get a green? I did not get a green bell pepper. Got my peppers, pears, cucumbers, onions, apples, and mushrooms. And my goal is to have um, one or two smoothies a day. Um, it is just a lot more easier and convenient for me. So I know for a fact that I will have probably two smoothies a day and then um, just a really big meal um, for dinner or for lunch. Not sure which one I'm going to decide on, but this is all of my groceries so far for my meal prep. So we are all meal prepped. Here is my raspberry avocado dip that was supposed to be dressing. I'm still going to add it to salads, um, but I'm going to use that with the cucumbers and then my peppers this week. Here's the chickpeas, spinach, cabbage, quinoa. And then these are like bag vegetables, raspberries, and the blueberries are going into the freezer. And then the blackberries is for me to grab. I got some more blueberries in the refrigerator, pears, apples, um, oranges and lemons to make the, the hot beverage that I have been talking about. And then I have lots of spinach just to make a big salad throughout the week. I have these chickpeas. Um, I have more chickpeas, but I have these chickpeas there. But I'll also make a really big salad um, throughout the week if I don't want to have some of this, um, the spinach, the cabbage, or the quinoa with the chickpeas. So this is my meal prep. So it is day six. I just finished my 6 a.m. workout and I didn't get much sleep last night, but I was telling my trainer, I felt like I was concerned if I was going to get yelled at for not having the right form this morning, but she said I had the right form. I feel like my energy was different this morning, even though I didn't get the sleep that I wanted. So, hey, not taking any, not taking my medication and I'm committed to this detox and it feels good to know that I still have the energy to get a good workout in this morning. So this is the start of day six.